This is part one of a series of videos demonstrating how to pair your Jetty radio wirelessly with the next simulator using the RCWare RX2SIM USB wireless interface and of course a Jetty uh, receiver. In my case, I'm using the R4 receiver and you know, this is just connected to the wireless interface using a standard male-to-male -male servo connector. So um, in, in a different video, I will show how to uh, uh, set up the wireless interface, how to set up the receiver, and how to set up the next simulator. But for this video, uh, I am going to uh, concentrate on how to set up the Jetty radio to, um, to work with the um, um, with the next simulator. So the first thing that we're going to do after uh, powering up the radio is to set up a new model. And this new model, um, it'll work with the next simulator. So here we're going to go under menu and model. We're gonna set up a brand new model, all right? So new model, we're going, we're going to give it a name. Let's call it uh, something that makes sense. So the next, and let's see, space, and let's call it the sim. You can spell out simulator at a different time, but here in the interest of time. So we're gonna press okay. Next, we're going to choose the model type. Let's choose heli, so okay, and here for swash type, we're going to use mechanical, all right? So mechanical, next, um, we are, let, let's leave everything like this for now, just to, so that we can start the model, okay? So we're gonna leave the uh, functions assignments alone, uh, servo assignments, again, leave it alone, and create the new model, yes, boom. Now that we have created the new model, okay? Um, let's, um, go to um, the uh, functions assignment. All right, so this is on the model functions assignment. And here, uh, we already have uh, the first six functions populated. We're going to add a seventh and an eighth function. Uh, uh, the first thing that I will do is change my uh, gyro sense, uh, which is uh, uh, paired to the SD button I'm going to change it to the SF button, and this is just my preference. You can use whatever uh, switch you prefer. So here I'm going to clear, move the switch, and now we're good there. And um, again, this, all of this is a matter of preference. Uh, so I'm going to add the seventh function, and I'm going to call this a self-level. Why? Because the next simulator has a self-level function. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Self. Self level. Press OK. And I am going to give it uh, a switch. My switch will be this. Uh, spring-loaded switch back here, which is uh, SB. So here we go, SB. And then I'm going to add yet another uh, function. I am going to call that restart because the next simulator has a restart uh, feature. So let's call this I think it looks good enough. So I'm going to press OK. And I am going to use uh, this switch back here. Again, I kind of modified my radio a little bit. Um, so here we go. OK, so that's a SA is going to be my restart switch. I'm going to press OK here. And we're done with the function assignments at this point. Um, so now we're going to go to servo assignment. and. We're gonna leave the first six that are populated, we're gonna leave them as is, but then we're gonna add uh, the seventh and eighth. So for seven, we're going to use a self-level, and for number eight, we're going to use 
uh, restart. There we go. Press OK. And at this point, uh, we uh, we are done uh, uh, with this part, so we can go back to the main menu. And now in the main menu, we are going to go to Heli Tuning, and we are going to create flight modes. Okay, and we're actually going to create. Let's see. We we actually we already have auto rotation, so that's one flight mode. We're also going to use idle one, idle two, and idle three. And these are going to correspond to, um, I think they call it a, a flight, um, not, not flight modes, but something similar to flight modes. But they, the next simulator calls this soft. Then the second one is medium. The third one is hard. And there's yet another fourth uh, flight mode um, called um, expert. And we're actually going to create that, okay? So uh, copy, I'm going to say no. Uh, here, let's see, we're going to give this a name. So let's call it um, idle 4. I think we're done with this. And this idle 4, I'm going to bring it up here. So the F2 arrow, bring up, up, and up. So idle 4 will have priority over idle 1, 2, and 3. And of course, auto rotation has priority over idle 4 and the other idle modes. So um, I think, um, you know what? Uh, just for the fun of it, I'm actually going to give it um, um, uh, a WAV file. So for auto rotation, I want any time I engage auto rotation, I, would, I want the radio to tell me auto rotation. All right. So let's see if I can find the auto rotation. Um, here we go. Auto rotation uh, wave file, and this is what it sounds like. Auto rotation. All right. Then for um, we're gonna do the same thing for idle four. And for idle four, I actually created that. So yeah, I have the idle one and idle two. They are actually populated by the uh, uh, by the radio. But idle three and idle four, I actually uh, created that uh, myself. Uh, using um, a wave um, file creator. Um, here we go. So idle four, and then I'm going to uh, do idle three. So this is a little time consuming, but I just want to go step by step so that there is no nothing missing. Okay. So idle three, and this is what it sounds like. Okay, and escape go down to idle 2 again we're going to uh, give it uh, a wave uh, file okay so idle I think that was 2 yep and again escape come down and here we're gonna give it idle 1 and like I say idle 1 and idle 2 are already populated by the jetty uh, radio so idle 1 boom and so we're, we're done with this part I think. Oh, we, I, we actually need to give it some switches. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, so for auto rotation, I like to use this switch uh, back here, you know, uh, and to be engaged whenever I press it back towards me. So let's see. Uh, all right. So that's uh, that switch. We're done with that. For idle four, I want it to be this switch up. Okay. And again, this is uh, just a matter of preference. All right. You can choose whatever uh, you prefer. So this switch, for my idle 1, 2, and 3, I like to use this switch here with idle 1 being low, idle 2, and idle 3. So let's let's start with the uh, idle uh, 3, all right, then uh, we'll go to, to give it the idle 2, boom, and this is going to be idle 1, again escape, down. And we're done. So let's see. So here I have. Okay, so auto rotation. Auto rotation. Now when I let go, idle four is engaged. Um, so. Idle four. And I disengage idle four, and it will read idle one. Idle one. Idle two. Idle three. See. And so so we're done with this part. Now um, now that we're done with the. Um, uh, with the flight modes, now we need to go into the uh, 
throttle curves, right? So we're going to create five throttle curves. So idle one, idle two, idle three, idle four, and also auto rotation. Okay, so that's gonna are, are going to be uh, our five throttle curves. So right now I am on, um, let's see, auto rotation. Auto, auto rotation. So I want constant, oops, constant. And then here, I'm just gonna make sure that we're at zero. So that's what I want. I want auto rotation to be zero. Then, um, idle one. so I want idle one. Idle one, I want it to be 25%, okay? So all my curves are actually going to be constant, okay? So this is going to be 25%. Now for idle two, I want it to be 50%. Idle two. And you know, of course I want it to be uh, a constant uh, 50%. And we are 50, so we'll leave that one alone. Now idle three, I want it to be 75 and constant, constant, and let's see, let's get that up to 75, and then for idle four, idle four. I also want that to be now a hundred, okay, um, and uh, again I need that to be uh, constant, and it's going to be a constant of a hundred. Okay, so we're going to verify. So this is my um, idle four. Now idle three is going to be um, 75. Idle, three. idle two is going to be 50. Idle, two. idle one is going to be 25. Idle one. And auto rotation is going to be zero. Auto rotation. Okay, so, so we're done with this part. And yeah, so we can you know, just get out of there. So if we go back to main menu, heli tuning. Let's go down to a fine tuning, all right? So fine tuning, this digital trims, they, they only confuse things. We don't need digital trims, you know, for working with the simulator. So we're going to deactivate them. So we're going to um, activate roll, elevator, yo, and pitch. So basically this guy's right here. So roll, we're gonna go up here, and now that's deactivated. Escape, down, elevator, deactivate. Escape. Down, yaw, pick it, deactivate, and escape, down, pitch, deactivate. So we so we have deactivated uh, this guy, so see, it doesn't do anything. I can press it all I want, and it's not going to mess up anything. And now we're also under fine-tuning. Let's go under dual rate and exponential. Let's leave those alone. So for the for any time you work at, with a simulator, at least most simulators, you really don't want to mess with the exponentials because most of the models already have exponential and dual rates already built in. So if you do it, do anything to the radio, you just kind of mess up those settings. So best to leave it alone. And um, let's do something just for fun, okay? Because there are so many switches and buttons here. Uh, I like to give uh, the different switches uh, wave uh, files, so um, which I've already uh, created. Uh, so let's go under advanced properties. Let's go under sound, sounds on event, and let's uh, create some uh, some sounds. All right. So the first one that I'm going to do is uh, create a sound for self level. See, so that anytime I depress this, it'll it'll say something. And in this case, I'm going to have it say rescue. All right. So, so here for switch, I'm gonna, whoops, here, the self-level switch, and it'll be, let's see if I can find a rescue there somewhere. We have a lot of stuff. Rescue, see? Rescue mode. See, we'll say rescue, rescue mode. Okay, so we're gonna also add um, a restart. So restart with this was my button. Press OK. And again, I created these files so uh, you will not have them in your radio unless you also create something similar to it or 
I can also contact me and I can send you these play files. So this one is restart. restart. Yep. So I'm going to assign it. Okay. So anytime I press here, restart. all right. Uh, also, um, this is going to be my button. This was my uh, 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 the number six channel, which I'm going to use for landing gear. So when when the landing gear is up, it'll be this way. When the landing gear is down, so that I can land, it'll be down this way. So let's see, sound on events. Again, I'm going to add this. Uh, so now when the button is up, this will be my um, landing uh, gear ready for flight. And again, that's something that I uh, created. And let's see if I can find it here, hopefully under L. So landing gear uh, ready for Okay, so I'm going to use that one, and then I'm going to add the other landing gear ready for landing. And let me see. Yep, that's the one I want. And, and we, so we're done. Uh, with most of the uh, uh, the setup for the radio. Now here's one thing that uh, we're going to skip a little bit. Uh, you know, at some point you will bind to the to the receiver, and uh, I'll show you how to do that uh, in a different video. But for now, I am going to um, uh, do a quick bind here, um, and I'll show you why. Really use this receiver. I'm going to say yes, okay. And um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under menu. We're going to go under model. We're going to go all the way down to device explorer. Here I'm going to use my receiver, which is the R4. Uh, here under serial link, I'm actually going to use PPM negative. Just you know, just where it is. See how I'm. Um, it gives me a bunch of these options. It's going to be PPM negative. And for general settings, I am going to uh, see this output period. Normally, it is uh, it defaults to 17. We're going to make it 20. Why is it 20? You know, I really have no idea, but that's the recommendation is to use 20. That's what I use. It's uh, almost like being in the Army. I don't ask any questions. I just do as I'm told. They told me to do 20. 20 it is. And life is good okay and you know what we are done setting up the radio and we will follow with um, videos on how to set up the receiver how to set up the uh, rx2 sim oops shut up alarm i guess i turned off the receiver and started making noises and i'll show you how to set up the uh, uh the next uh, uh, uh simulator to work with the jd radio that we just set up all right. Thank you very much for watching.